<laughs> I think we're gonna need to tie some flies. Well, it's fall again. What does that mean? Many more days like this. Striped bass, false albacore all over the beaches. Now we've covered albihors, inlet candies, or bucktail surf candies, as I like to call them. Why don't we uh, tie one of my favorite flies developed here by a local Long Island fly tire, Glenn Mickelson. And uh, maybe you can get into some action like this. So let's get cracking. Let's uh, get started and tie the Mickelson's epoxy baitfish. All right. For the materials, C70 SD Big Game, size 2. We have two colors of Crystal Flash, silver and red. Regular Pearl Flash Boo. We have some monofilament thread on our right bobbin. Two colors of Bucktail. We have tan and then white. Bill's Diamond Braid, or we're just using a flat diamond braid from a hairline. We have our two UV resins. We have Solar Res Thick and Solar Res Thin. And then we have some small uh, stick on eyes. These are uh, size 1.5. I don't know the exact uh, size in inches. All right, so we'll get some thread on the hook here. There's a couple different ways you can tie this, but we're gonna go with the traditional Mickelson epoxy bait fish style. Um, so we're gonna start off with some bucktail. Now this fly can be a little tricky at times when it comes to wrapping the flash around the, uh, the body, but I'll show you a couple tricks to make that a little bit easier start off with some white bucktail and again I like tying these pretty sparse so we'll go ahead and get all the smaller hairs out of the way this fly is gonna be right around three inches long or two and seven eighths of two inches so what we're gonna do is start off by tying our white bucktail and we'll go back a little past the hook point now we'll take some crystal flash some silver crystal flash. I'm gonna take two pieces here. It's pretty long. Take that, fold that, and cut that. And then we'll just loop this over and tie some silver crystal flash. Kind of like so. You don't really need much. These flies are generally tied pretty sparse. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one whole piece of pearl flash boo here. This is what we're gonna use to wrap the top collar down. Secure it. You want to make sure it's also nice and flat and not curled up or bent at all. We tie that on there. So this flash boo is now on here and we're just going to leave that like so. Now we're going to take some of this silver diamond braid here and just tie this in. And what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly wrap this nice and neat Make sure there's no gaps. We're gonna wrap this all the way up front. Wrap that back. All right. So now, what we could do is, we're gonna take our red crystal flash. Now this is optional, you don't have to do this. You can always take a Sharpie and add some, some red gills or completely omit it but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some red crystal flash tie this like so on the bottom and then we're just gonna kind of fold it in a v-shape and this is what Glenn likes to do a lot of times and we're just gonna leave that like so now we have a nice little uh, little crystal flash throat okay so we'll leave that like so we'll worry about that later now we're gonna take some tan bucktail. And again, you can do pink over white is a favorite of mine. Uh, tan, olive, um, lavender, all sorts of colors. You can experiment. I really like the pink over white in general for false albacore and stripers. And again, we don't wanna to use too much bucktail because we kinda of wanna make it pretty sparse. Makes a great silver side or band Jovi fly. We want this to be about as long as the white bucktail. We'll take this. Got all the smaller hairs out of the way. And we'll take this and tie this right in up front. We're gonna be careful with our thread wraps. Try not to have too many thread wraps or build up too much bulk in the front here. And just like so. So essentially, 
this is what you would call a blonde uh the classic streamer pattern um developed uh, quite a while ago and now what we're going to do is that transforms it to the mickelson's epoxy bait fish we're going to take our flash oh, we're going to try and do some nice even uh ribbing Again, it's a little tricky. You're going to have to play around with it. Don't go too tight with it. You'll break the flash boo. But tight enough to help make sure it's nice and even. Then you can double wrap it up front. Now, even if the bucktail isn't completely even, we can adjust that after. Let's just secure this. Wrap that off. Now we have our little V of the crystal flash in the back. And we have this bucktail secured with the flash boo ribbing. Now try and be careful so that way you don't move the ribbing too much. And make sure the bucktail is nice and even on, other, on either side. Okay, so now we're pretty much ready to, to glue this up. It's a pretty simple fly when you get the hang of it. Classic fly here in the Northeast. Now to make it a little easier for myself, we have a little super glue here. And we're just gonna apply a little in the front where we're gonna put our uh, eyes. This will help with the eyes lifting off when you add uh, the resin to it. Now we're gonna take our eyes here, and these are pretty small eyes. But uh, again, we're going for a pretty slim profile here, so. Just place our first eye on up front, like so. You could totally use bigger eyes as well. Don't be afraid to experiment. Just like with the colors. Try not to get the eyes stuck to your fingers with super glue. I didn't just do that. No way. Okay, so we got our eyes secured. Make sure they're nice and even. Okay, so we're ready to glue this thing up. So we're gonna start off with our Solar Res uh, Thick Formula to give us a good base coat and then we're going to uh, fill it in with the thin okay so we're going to start off by uh, placing a pretty light layer of this thick resin I'm running a little this stuff is really thick so it takes a little while when you're running low we're going to go back and we don't want to go back too far like we do with our surf candy this fly is pretty easy uh, when it comes to being foul resistant just due to the design it will foul, but not that often. Now we're just gonna take our resin here. And we're just gonna evenly spread this 360 degrees around the fly on the body. Making sure it's nice and even. Now back in the day, Glenn used to use epoxy, he still does, but the UV resin is great because you don't have to worry about it, you know. The amount of time you have to, to play with it you can just hit it whenever you'd like that looks pretty good that's right where i want it the body's nice and even on it so i'll grab my light here and what i'll do is i'm just going to grab the bucktail kind of pull it to where i want and then just hit it with the light Now, technically, you can take this thing and go fish it, but we're just going to make the body a little larger and make it a little bit more durable with another coat. And you can see this is pretty even the body, but there's a little imperfection here and there. So if you really want to be going for the, uh, the best look possible, we're going to go with the thin. And I always do this with all my uh, epoxy, quote unquote, or UV coated flies. Start off with a thick and then finish it off with a thin to even it out. So go. We don't want to add too much, but just a little bit. Make sure that it covers every every uh, part of the resin. This will just help fill us, uh, help fill in any of the imperfections. We're gonna keep moving the vise around because it'll it'll start cooling up if we don't. As you can just see, I just want it to be a little bit even. 
over here. All right, that's looking pretty good. You can see the body's nice and even. We're just gonna go ahead and hit that with the light. I like to move it around a little so I don't heat it up too much and then I'll go ahead and hit it on either side for about five seconds, flip it back. 10 seconds of it, you know, exposure to the light should almost fully cure this. I always recommend taking them out and sticking them in the sun afterwards before fishing them or throwing them on the dash of your car. So they kind of get the, uh, the UV light that the sun giveth, which is hard to replicate with a light. So that's that, the Mickelson's epoxy bait fish. guys enjoyed our little demo today again big shout out to glenn mickelson uh, well-renowned fly tire here on long island designer of this beautiful fly you'll see a lot of people on the jetties in new england especially long island fishing these flies uh, out in montauk striped bass and bluefish very beautiful blitzes that we have here so hopefully you enjoyed the content we stream fly tying on twitch you can check that out down below uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, help support it, and let me know what you think down below in the comments, or you could not do anything. Thanks again, and uh, good luck out there this season, this fall. Go catch some Albies. We'll see you again. Tight lines. Also, uh, don't worry, I did not piss myself. I was fishing earlier, and my waders are leaking. Um, shout out to all the waiter companies out there that make waiters that leak within a year. Uh, doesn't matter what brand you have, they all seem to do it. So, 